and welcome to day number 12. Today we're going to continue learning about how to use Python with the Raspberry Pi in terms of physical computing. We have what we've built yesterday, just learning what about the LEDs. Um, so we have the same breadboard, the same wiring configurations. And you can either take those apart or keep that, and we're just going to add to the breadboard, which will be perfectly fine. And you can see that today... We're going to take a look at how to use buttons to get an input. So you're going to need just a, a little tiny button. This one is a little guy here with four little prongs that we'll put into the breadboard and use. Once we kind of figure out how to write some Python to control the LED with a button and making a switch, we'll then go back and then we'll incorporate our buzzer, which we used a buzzer in our scratch projects in week two. So you can just use and repurpose that same buzzer again. And we're going to get going, get, just get you comfortable with those. And then we'll proceed then to, as the week goes on, making traffic lights and exploring a bunch of different resistors and sensors. So for today, you're going to need those two for sure. And uh, I wish you the best of luck learning this. We've added the LED. We got it to turn on and off yesterday. Now we're going to add some more physical components to it to allow us to have more control over the LEDs using things like a button and then having some fun with the buzzer. All right, so when you are ready, go ahead and proceed down to our first step of using buttons to get input. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.